So let's play the last part five. Here we go. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Full Media Part 64 Transition. In today's episode, we set out to work further with uh, what we call our C1322 scale. To remind you where that came from, we composed a piece called Leashes in Shadow Fool, which you just heard the last part of. And Leashes in Shadow Fool was composed by ear by cherry picking from these 20 chords, which are called the Shadow Fool chords, which has a technical distinction of coming from these scales, blah, 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 blah. And then after we composed that, we looked at it and said, well, instead of using all 11 notes we are of the Shadow Fool scale, we're using eight. And then when we looked at the piece we composed, we found six, six chords out of the 20 were being used. So today we said, are there any other chords over here in the 20 that we have not yet used? And the answer is yes, there's three more that could be used. And they sound like this. So. And then we went here and before we tried anything else, adding new chords and things like that, we said, is there anything we want to do to tweak how this sounds and feels? And you may remember that we had added what we call a passing notes line, notes that are not in the cadences proper. And it sounded pretty cool. It sounded like the dog was barking or running your finger down a comb. And then we kind of worked with the directionality of the slower up and down passing notes. So. Uh, we're going to play for you where this piece has arrived at in full. Here we go. So that concludes today's stream. What we like is working with the directionality of the passing chords, da, 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 up and da, 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 down, and fitting where they seem to uh, be pleasing with an up-down sequence versus a down-down sequence at the end of each phrase. So we found three more chords to work with, and our ideas for next time is to begin a line diagram energy chart for leashes, like we just completed for the fawns and does, and then begin extending and deepening it. For example, add some loud soft dynamic changes and adding the new chords and some new material, which can include passing notes. Thank you for your time and attention, curiosity and interest. Look forward to seeing you in the next stream. And as always, keep on streaming. Take care.